we had different starts to our morning. I was bricking it. So like, I was fine up until about 12. And then when I started getting in the suit, I was like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not uh oh in a bad way, but like, oh, this is- It's happening. Yeah, it's happening. It's real, like, oh my God. I think I was really excited. I was expecting to be a lot more nervous, but I was just really excited. also running a bit late um, so I was grateful that Kate and Seb were there and really calm otherwise I think I would have definitely panicked. I think I was, we were planning on me being ready for about half 12 and um, that was not the case um, I was late for my meeting with the registrar as well but they were all really nice uh, but once every, everyone was ready I was I was fine I just wanted to run down the aisle good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and on behalf of Tiernan and Tanaz I'd like to welcome you all once again to Wootton Park for the very special occasion of their marriage. When I initially walked to the area, mm -hmm. like Marianne and her team did a fantastic job of how it looked. Like yeah. <laughs> it was perfect for how we wanted it as well. I, I, the feelings and seeing you and stuff like were incredible, but like the setting around it as well really helped that. Yeah, two years of us trying to imagine that and it was finally all there. Yeah. Per yeah. Exactly how we wanted yeah. it as well. I had practiced walking in my dress, but obviously I hadn't practiced walking that long. Um, it was a bit challenging, and then I <laughs> just remember the dress was heavier than I thought. Um, Dad was walking slightly faster than me, um, so at one point, I think it's in the photos as well, I just sort of had to like look up to Dad and be like, please slow down a bit. I just remember though standing at the top of the aisle and hearing the music play, I was like, okay, right, they're coming down the aisle. And I, all I was thinking was, I'm not crying yet, how am I going to cry? <laughs> and then when you started walking down the aisle, it's like, oh my God, how do I stop crying? 
it was the complete opposite. <laughs> but uh, so yeah. So I made you cry. Uh, you you yeah. did, yeah. Okay. There you go. This is a day that they will both remember for all of their lives. And you are all here to wish them well and to make this a happy and unforgettable day for them both. It is traditional for a woman to be walked down the aisle by someone who is very important to them. So with those traditions in mind, I now ask, who brings Tanaz to be married to Tiernan? I do. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being old, too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say, I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It's having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together and facing the world. It's forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family it is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget and it's giving each an atmosphere in which each can grow. It's a common search for the good and the beautiful. It's not only marrying the right person, it's being the right partner. I, Tiernan Patrick Tracy, take you, Tanos Sarabi Samari, to be my wedded wife. I, Tanos Sarabi Zamani, take you, Tiernan Patrick Tracy, to be my wedded husband. Made of honor is not ready yet. No. Um, no. <laughs> Once in a lifetime, you find someone who touches not only your heart but also your soul. Once in a lifetime you find someone who stands beside you, not over you. You find someone who loves you for who you are and not who you could be. Once in a lifetime, if you are lucky, you find someone and you have found each other. 
We now come to the exchange of wedding rings, which has always been the traditional way of sealing marriage vows. So we're very much hoping that David still has some rings in his pocket. <laughs> Lots. Drop them. Don't drop them in the <laughs> lake. <laughs> I just remember um, David's hands shaking yes. when he was trying to hand us the vows and the ring. Um, I'm thankful that we got the ring box, but I was really scared that they were going to fall out of his hand because, he, bless him, he was really shaky. Super. And if you'd like to place that all the way onto her finger. This that one? one? Yes, yeah. that one. <laughs> Make sure I get it right. <laughs> <laughs> and hold it in place. Repeat these words after me. Tanaz, I give you this ring. Tanaz, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And a symbol of our love. And as a symbol of our love. And Tanaz, if you would like to take uh, Tiernan's ring as well. I think you can sit down, by the way. If you want. <laughs> no, it's okay. You, you, you do whatever you need to do, <laughs> David. You're good, you're good. And if you'd like to pop that all the way on to Tiernan's finger. And hold it in place. Say these words to Tiernan. Tin and I give you this ring. Tin and I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And a symbol of our love. And a symbol of our love. I'm going to be honest, I don't remember everything that we said because I was just so excited. I was so in the moment just enjoying it. I couldn't stop smiling. I listen to every word of your vows, but I don't remember every word of it. Mm, fair enough. <laughs> As I stand here today, pledging my love to you, I cannot help but think back to four years ago when I came to see you at the airport. When sitting with you there, I remember thinking, I wonder how much flights to Spain are. Uh, more importantly though, I remember thinking when giving you one last hug before leaving, I love this woman. It did not take me too long after that to tell you exactly how I felt and the rest, as they say, is history. It's crazy to think that within these four years you've become my best friend, my girlfriend, my fiance, and now my wife. Ever since coming into my life, you've taught me things about myself I did not even know. You've pushed me outside of my comfort zone and challenged me to grow and become a better version of myself. I won't cry, I promise. <laughs> and for that, I'm internally grateful. Thank you for being by my side, because by being with you, you've shown me that home is not a place. It is indeed a person, and that person is you. You are the love of my life, my partner in crime, who makes me feel happier and more loved than I thought imaginable. Thank you for everything you are and everything you do. So today, I take you to be my wife and promise to make you happy as you make me every single day. I vow to always appreciate you and to always remind myself of how lucky I am that I have you in my life. I vow to cherish everyday moments that we will love, laugh and cherish for years to come, like providing live commentary on everything that we watch, uh, having live concerts in the car, uh, me making a mess in absolutely every single restaurant we go to uh, and many more that I'm far too embarrassed to share in front of everyone here. I try to listen and learn from you because as you say, you're always right. <laughs> I try to inspire and challenge you and to also be the water to your fire, helping you in all aspects of your life. I look forward to continue helping make making our marriage a happy and healthy one. I fire that you will never have to face this world alone. I promise to always be in your corner and to face all challenges united as a team, holding you close to me when things are good and closer when they are not. I will hold myself accountable for my faults and always promise to be better and to be worthy of the love you show me. I will hold your hand through this life and I promise to never let go. For me, I do not see these vows as promises, but as honours. I am honoured to love and support the woman you are today, the wife you'll be tomorrow, and the person you strive to become. 
As I always say, there is not enough adjectives in the English language to describe how much I love you. So additionally, I fired to show you in cuddles, pinky promises, dindins and massages how much I love you. I promise to never forget that this is a once in a lifetime love and I will choose you every single day for the rest of my life and beyond. To quote a famous poet, uh, some people may not know, some people want money and focus on what they possess, but for me, it is simple. Tana's is my happiness. I love you. I was really worried about speaking in front of people. I hadn't even thought about that part of it. Um, even though I had everything written down, it was still a bit like, oh, am I pronouncing it right? Am I saying it right? Um, one thing I'm grateful for was that during the getting ready, um, the whole team, the coordinators, the, the makeup team, everyone kept telling me, make sure you drink a lot of water. Make sure you have enough fluids before you go down the aisle. You're going to be really nervous. Your mouth's going to feel dry. You might even faint because it's a warm day. So, um, Thanks for their advice. I was fine. I did I did feel really nervous. And at one point I felt like, oh my gosh, it's really warm. I'm so excited. I'm so nervous. Am I going to faint? Um, I didn't. So that's good. Maybe we're supposed to meet the wrong people before we meet the right one. So when they finally arrive, we're truly grateful for the gift we've been given. Maybe it's true that we don't know what we have lost until we lose it. But it's also true that we don't know what we're missing until it arrives. Maybe the happiest of people don't have the best of everything, but make the best of everything that comes their way. Maybe the best kind of love is the kind where you sit on the sofa together, not saying a word, and walk away feeling like it was the best conversation you've ever had. Maybe once in a lifetime you find, you find someone who not only touches your heart, but also your soul. Someone who loves you for who you are and not what you could be. Maybe the art of true love is not about finding the perfect person, but about seeing an imperfect person perfectly. Speaking of true love, um, this time four years ago, uh, you were just a dream and a prayer. And then 1,436 days ago, everything changed. You planned the most perfect first date when you ordered the same drink as me, which was the skinny caramel latte, by the way, if anyone wanted to know. I knew you were the one. Um, so. As Ed Sheeran said, I found the love for me. I love you, Tiernan. In you, I have a lover, a friend, a safe place, and someone who supports and inspires me. I promise you that when you need a friend, I will be your best friend. When you need help, I'll be there for you. And when you need care, I will look after you. In me, you have a partner for life. I promise to grow with you and learn new ways to love you every single day for the rest of my life. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter for the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth for the other. Now there is no more loneliness, for each of you will be company for the other. Now you are two persons, but there is only one life before you. Go now to your dwelling to enter into the days of your life together, and may your days be good and long upon the earth. Tiernan and Tanaz, you have both made the declarations prescribed by law and have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses, your family, and your friends here assembled. It therefore gives me very great pleasure to announce that you are lawfully joined together as husband and wife, and you, sir, may kiss your beautiful bride. Oh, my time. <laughs> thinking about after so after we signed the papers and mm. forced Roz and Dave to sign the papers yeah of course and uh, doing our sort of 
not our robotic walk down up back up the aisle, but the bridesmaids and groomsmen's robotic walk back up the aisle. I think a lot of people were initially confused what was happening with the like the throw and the confetti. confetti. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, they seemed a little bit confused. so long for them to <laughs> get two straight lines to just throw confetti over us. And a big shout guys. I don't think we got much of a drinks reception. I didn't get a canopy. I didn't get um, I didn't get any of the so food. I just, I just remember seeing them pass around. Um, I stuffed my face with one because that was the moment Kate came up and said, we need to go for photos. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that, that's all I had. I don't even remember which one. Um, it was nice though. Whichever one it was, it was nice. Nice. <laughs> but I was really hungry and really thirsty. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Mom spent a lot of time trying to create the, the soft racks for us and the, the tradition behind it. It really meant a lot to her and to me, so thank you for doing it, even though you didn't understand much of it. I was just agreeing. <laughs> yes. Um, so later on, I realised that uh, Mom didn't have her soft racks, so that's why it meant even more to her for me to have that. Um, so that was, that was really special for me. in the soft rack so when we kind of walked into the room yeah and you did your typical queen wave 
and everyone was applauding us, which has yeah. never happened before. <laughs> we seen how incredible the layout was. So the tables were set up perfectly. We had the different heights in terms of the, let's call it cube sculptures that you were speaking to Marianne about. Centerpieces. The centerpieces, yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I clearly paid attention. <laughs> but seeing the individual things, so seeing your mom suck right, uh, absolutely incredible. She did an amazing mm. job. I want to eat the table. <laughs> <laughs> what does the soft rice represent? So it's it's just the setup. It's the traditional setup that that we have during the what we call act when you say your your vows and you become husband and wife. So in Iran, it's sort of like a separate thing. So you have the act and then you have your wedding. Um, but obviously, we did it on the same day. Yeah. Um, and the the main thing is is the mirror being there, so you can see yourselves as you're saying your vows and saying yes. And then the honey dip afterwards, um, so you start your married life with something sweet. And as you're saying your vows, um, obviously mom was there with the sugar canes, and um, so it rains um, sweetness on us as we say our vows. But yeah, thank you for doing it. I was sort of expecting you to, I don't know, wait for a nudge or something. But you did really well. You, you knew when to say bala. I think everyone was staring at me, expecting me to say it. So <laughs> I don't think I had a choice. <laughs> um, no, I was glad to be part of it. Yeah. Thank you. در نزد انجمن خانم تناز سهرابی آیا به سپیدی و پاکی زمستان سوگند یاد می‌کنی که همواره اجاقی اجاق گرم، گرمی بخش بختتان را روشن و پرفروغ نگه داری و برای او همسری وفادار و برای فرزندانت مادری دلسوز و مهربان باشی به خانت شادی و گرمی بخشیده و هر آنچه در توان داری را در آزین بندی و پاکی آن به کار گیری آقای تینن تریسی آیا وکیلم شما را به عقد خانم تناز سهرابی در بیاورم؟ بله خانم تناز سهرابی آیا وکیلم شما را به عقد آقای تینن تریسی در بیاورم؟ عروس رفته گل بچین برای بار دوم سوال می کنم عروس خانم آیا وکیلم شما را به عقد آقای تنن تریسی در بیاورم؟ عروس رفته گلاب بیاره آیا وکیلم شما را به عقد آقای تنن تریسی در بیاورم؟ آیا جزه پدر و مادرم بزرگتر و بله There was a photo of, of you and my your... parents yeah. Yeah. Um, on their wedding day. They had a photo on a on a swing. And ever since I was a kid, every time I watched the uh, wedding videos and wedding photos and every time I saw them, I said, I want one like that. Um, so, yeah, it really meant a lot that we we got to get a shot like that. Yes, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. The funniest thing about that sort of, let's call it sidebar, where we were getting the photos and videos was uh, seeing you, it may have been Kate, and it also may have been Seb, uh, just shaking your dress for all the crickets, <laughs> just shaking the life out of it. I've never seen so many insects gather in a dress in all my life. It was a big dress with lots of layers, so. <laughs> You guys are great, I love you. <laughs> You're just so good to me. <laughs> and fast forward two weeks later, and he's asked her to be his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> he just knew that he had to lock it down from then. But she didn't even call him her boyfriend until a month later. <laughs> because he was way too keen. <laughs> no, no, thank you so much for being so kind and amazing to my gorgeous best friend and being the rock that she's always dreamt of since we were younger. <laughs>
I wish you both long and safe happy life together. Please raise the glass to our happy couple. Cheers. Cheers. They, they were funny. Um, they really made me laugh. Uh, my favourite one, of course, was yours. After almost two years of planning since we got engaged and plenty of Zoom calls to go with that, I'm sure <laughs> Katie knows that as well. <laughs> uh, the day has finally come and I hope everyone's having a great day so far. Uh, and what can I say? I did not think you could look any more incredible, but yet again, you have proven me wrong. As for today, firstly, thank you for saying I do and agreeing to marry me. Uh, today would not have happened if it were not for you. You've been truly incredible organizing all that we see in front of us. And I can speak for the entire room that we are thankful for what a fantastic job you've done today. <laughs> thank you so much for the person you are. You've filled every single one of my days with happiness and laughter. I never knew what was missing from my life until I met you. And now I feel lucky to say that I've married my best friend. From the first minute we met, we just clicked. And by the next few dates, we we're already speaking of what ifs. For example, what if she was to move back to Belfast or if I moved to Nottingham? And I guess we see who got their way in that argument. <laughs> <laughs> when I am with you, I feel like we can accomplish anything, which I look at our future with excitement, as I know that no matter what life throws at us, we can overcome it together. But mum's really made me emotional. I think it was the only point during the day where I actually cried. As a parent, you want your child to succeed in life, both personally and professionally. But one of the most precious rewards is seeing your child experience true love and happiness, which our daughter has absolutely found with Tierna. Dear Tanas, since you were three years old, <laughs> your dream was to go to university in England. To achieve this goal, you had to work hard, study hard, even sacrifice so many things in your life, like your friends and your families back in Iran. Can I say some words? to Tanna's in my language, please. Sorry about that. Just some memories to remind her. Tanna's Godi. No, Tanna's Godi, Azizam. Hamisha ma ye iftikhar ma budi. Azad mekhaam tashakkar kunam. Be khatir tamam un lahza hai shiri nikdar man baba da faridi. Az un mogayi ke se salat bud, inqadu budi. Tu ab ni jangidi ke khodet ru ab niyahte bud. به ما نشون دادی که یه دختر جنگنده ای از اون موقعی که چهار سالت بود رفتی تکفاندو کچیکترین عوض بودی ساعت چهار زور تو گرمای احواز به عشق تو که ببینن تو لذت میبری از تو گرما میرفتیم که ببینم لذت ببرم از دیدن پیش رفته تو because I, um, I was hearing what she was saying obviously it was very emotional um, and then I turned around and looked at dad and he was crying and then I turned around to look at you and I could see you were about to cry um, and that really just got me and I, I think there are photos of me just looking at mom like begging her to stop because I was like I'm going to start crying I'm going to start crying Toast to Tiernan and Tannos Mr and Mrs Tracy Full team <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Everyone was telling me after it, even the ones that don't speak English, yeah. myself and uh, speak English, Farsi. <laughs> even the ones that don't speak Farsi, yeah. myself included, were just bawling up with emotion because like, you was, could just feel the passion yeah. from the speech. Good afternoon, everyone. My name's George. This is David, and we're the best men. You're probably wondering why there's two best men, but in fairness, Tim had a tough choice. There was his funniest friend or his best looking friend. Sadly, neither of them were available. So you've got us paired today. <laughs> so when we first got on the phone to plan for this wonderful day, we got chatting about the days where Tiernan and Tanas first met. We've honestly never seen him so excited and we've never seen him so enamored with, with someone before. 
Um, every day he was talking about their previous date and starting to plan for, for the next one. And on the 15th of August, 2018, I had already sent Tiernan a link to engagement rings. <laughs> and I said, the way you're chatting about Tanaz, you may start saving now. <laughs> so the first and only time Tiernan has taken advice from anyone. <laughs> so. Tanaz, you've brought so much joy and happiness to our good friend Tiernan. When he talks about you and your future life together, you can see the excitement in his eyes. It's clear the two of you make a winning team, which is admittedly a bit of a foreign concept to Tiernan, being not only an Arsenal fan, but a Fermanagh fan too. <laughs> Tiernan, it's been an honour for us to be your best men, and we can't wait to see the life you and your beautiful wife Tanaz will build together. We can see how happy you make each other, and wish you both nothing but joy, love and happiness in your lives. So would you all join us and be upstanding in raising your glasses, which we forgot, not only to the happy couple, but to the wonderful years ahead of them, the Tiernan and Tanaz. <laughs> So very specifically, throughout the entire process, we wanted the ice cream man at our wedding. And the one flavor I wanted was mint chocolate chip ice cream because that is my favorite ice cream. So we got in the queue. We were told we could skip the queue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I think Kate wanted the ice cream shots. And I was like, yeah, awesome. Let me get my mint chocolate ice cream. I was oh, forced upon with a a chocolate chip chocolate ice cream. Chip. Even though I specifically wanted mint the entire time for years. Yeah, and so I was like, okay, I have to take this. And I never got my mint chocolate ice cream. It's okay. It was it was truly a tragic it's story. It's a very, um, very touchy subject, but, mint chocolate. But it was worth it. So for weeks before the wedding, we went and practiced our first dance. We got lessons and um, the whole time in my head, I was like, I'm going to be fine. My dress is big, but I'm going to be fine. Obviously, you hadn't seen it, so you had no idea. Um, we did have to tweak it a little bit. Um, there were parts I couldn't do, <laughs> um, but I think it turned out amazing. I think so as well. So Tanaz, are you ready? Are you ready? I don't know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends and family, please put your hands together for your bride and groom this evening. Tanaz and Tina. I would be really nervous dancing in front of people, but where, as soon as the music started, it, I just, I forgot about them being there. It was just me and you. And it was magical. Baby, 
chaotic in the morning and I was completely nervous but as soon as you started walking down that aisle and as soon as I seen you like it washed away I was taken away by emotion at one point but <laughs> it just passed by so quickly the entire day yeah. for me the one word I would use to describe it is a dream mm -hmm. everything was exactly how I wanted it to be I had everything I wanted in you you were absolutely beautiful and stunning on the day and if I could relive it every single day I would it was honestly Thank perfect
me everyone kept saying it would go fast but didn't realise how true that was. It really did go fast and I just wish we could do it all over again to have more time with everyone and take it all in. Um, but for me, like I said, a dream and just a magical day because it, it just, it was amazing. Everything was exactly how we imagined it with two years of planning it. So it was perfect. I don't think there's a day we go by where we don't think about it yeah. or talk about it or just want to relive it is honestly just perfection. Yeah.